Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the three and fifty-eight day of a Kali blessing, where God is talking about being karma teeth. Now, what does that mean? Many religions have spoken about in different ways, but God wants us to do it in His way. So, let's explore this blessing. <music> Baba says, "May you become karma teeth and experience lightness by being loving and detached while doing everything." The explanation goes like this: Karma teeth means to be detached and loving, loving towards God, and detached from every karma. So you do something, and after doing that thing, let's say you're doing any kind of work, whether it's your business place, your job. your home anything you're doing you feel as though you did nothing now that is going to happen only when we have no expectations from ourselves and from anybody else around while doing that karma we are not looking for any praise in that we are not looking for any defeat or victory in that we are not looking for any name and fame in that and also god says we are not looking for any profit or loss in that so it can be any kind of karma can be a financial can be a business can be your workplace can be your office can be your team can be an ngo can be anything can be even your government work even your political work can be any area of work so god says you feel as though you did nothing so that lightness can only come when we are having zero expectations so victory or defeat whether it's that name fame or somebody defames you whether it's that experience or whether it's profit or loss whether it's this experience what says in any of these things if you don't get affected by them and you're still doing your karma then you are karma teet because you're in love with god so but the one who inspires made you do it you did not do anything but the one who inspires made you to it so god is making us inspire and whether it's a loss or whether it's a victory or benefit in everything there's a lesson which god says and this is his way of teaching us his way of making us feel victorious or making us feel that there's still something more to learn out of it so by experiencing this stage you will always have lightness that means we are giving it to god for the results of it while doing that karma so while doing anything let there be lightness in your body and lightness in the stage of your mind now if you are doing something for getting something in return for any kind of desires physical wealth or any form of any form of need which is on a physical basis or on a name basis any form of thing which we are desiring will make the mind very heavy every thought will be calculative it won't be from the heart the karma every action will be to either make yourself feel better than the other person higher than the other person comparatively there'll be a tussle between whose ideas is better mine is better who was right who was wrong all that tussle will happen only when we are wanting or desiring something but when we don't want or desire anything then we are in the flow of the whole drama we just going through the flow learning our lessons enjoying the drama if we are into wanting or gaining something obviously then the drama becomes very heavy then our acting also becomes very calculative very manipulative so god says the lightness then goes away so in the stage of your mind then no matter how much your work increases as much as pressure may increase of work let your lightness increase just as much because you're offering it to god you're saying god with your qualities with your values with your virtues which you have taught me in brahma kumaris i'm using those values and virtues as a soul and those values and virtues which are actually 36 and many more virtues are there which we learn at prema kumaris day after day 
if we imbibe those values and virtues, then obviously there'll be lightness in every act which we do. Because without using virtues, without using values, we cannot say that we offered it to God and the work shall be taken care of by God. We can be using vices, negative feelings, negative thoughts and still be saying, oh, well, it's God's work, I'm still doing it. So there's a big difference in actualizing and realizing what exactly does karma teeth mean. Then no matter how much your work increases, let your lightness increase just as much. Let your actions not attract you, but be a master and act with your physical organs. Let your actions not attract you. That means our actions are not attracting us. That means once we have done the action, we're not thinking about how did we do it, what would we do, what is going to be the result of it, what is going to be the outcome of it, whether anybody is going to appreciate it, whether I've done it better or not than the other person. No such thoughts will come. But if such thoughts are coming, that means that it wasn't offered to God. So let your actions not attract but you, but be a master and act with your physical organs and also experience lightness in your thoughts. This is being karmatit. This is the final stage of liberation when every day, each day, our thoughts, words and actions are in such lightness, in such purity, that we are not affected by it. Whether somebody respects us, doesn't respect us, whether somebody gives us any form of accolades or doesn't give us for our work, if we are getting affected by them, then it wasn't offered to God. Offered to God, as you've understood, means using virtues and values. So what are, what are those virtues and values? How do we do it? How do we offer it to God? Is what we learn in the seven-day course of Brahma Kamaris. You're most welcome to attend that seven-day course and learn more in depth about it. So, some people say it's about offering it at the lotus feet of God, every karma which we do. But lotus feet means purity. Did we have so much of purity in our mind? Without the virtues, there's no purity. Did we have that purity in our mind while doing that karma? Yes, that is what we have to every moment be aware of. Well, with this, have a blessed good night, Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.